Hey guys, I'm guessing if you're here, maybe you're looking at a piece of homework or something that says find the nth term of the sequence and you're like, what does that even mean? I've never even heard that before. <laughs> well, basically all this is asking you to do is come up with an equation that will make it so someone can plug in the nth term, whatever they want to find is what nth really means. So if I wanna find the hundredth term, I can just use that equation that you found to find it. That's all they want. So you've probably been doing this actually. They just kinda of asked it in a little different type way. So when we are doing this, we are going to use explicit formulas. Those are the formulas that let us plug in whatever number we want to find it. So the first thing I do to find these is I'm going to look at my top sequence here and figure out what is happening to these numbers. What did I do to nine to get 17? What did I do to 17 to get 25 and so on? So I figure out when I look at it that we are adding eight each time. Okay, great. Now that I know that because I'm adding, that tells me this is an arithmetic sequence. So I need to use my arithmetic explicit formula. Yes, we have a formula, but listen, you've probably been using this. If not, we are going to fill this in, but we're gonna talk about it as we do it. So we're not just memorizing. Remember, I want to have an equation someone can use to find whatever number in this sequence they want. So what I'm going to do is have a sub n. There's that n we were talking about. A sub n means whatever number you want to find. What do you do? You take the first number of the sequence, a sub 1, which in this case is 9. Add d. d stands for common difference, or what are we doing each time? We already figured that out. We're adding 8 each time. Now, if I just left it like that, that would give me my second number. That would give me the 17. But what about the rest of them? Well, that's where this n minus 1 comes in. Why do I add that on the back here? Well, I want you to think for a minute. If I was looking for the fifth term in this sequence, or a sub 5, what would I do? I would add 8 again, and I would end up with 41. So to find the fifth number in that sequence, how many times did I add eight? I added eight four times. One less time than the number I wanted to find. So if I wanted to find the hundredth number, I would have added eight 99 times. So that is where that n minus one comes in. Okay, guys, this is my formula. Now, some teachers might want you to get rid of those parentheses. So some might be good with you just leaving it like this. Some of them might want you to distribute that eight in to make it a bit more simple. So if I do that, I end up with a sub n equals nine plus eight n minus eight. And then I'm going to combine like terms and end up with eight n plus one. So someone could use this formula to find the nth term which just means whatever number they want to find, they can use this, okay? But what about if we are multiplying each time, not adding? So for this one, if you look at it, you probably figure out pretty quickly that we are multiplying by negative 2 each time. Which means this is a geometric sequence. So I need to use my geometric explicit formula to be able to give you an equation to find the nth term or whatever term you want. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this in again. So a sub n or whatever number you wanna find is equal to the first number in my sequence. In this case, it's four. Multiplied by the common ratio or what's changing each time. So multiplied by negative two, but not just once, right? If I multiply it once, that gives me this guy, but I want it for any one I want. So again, just like up here, if I wanted to find the fifth term, 
I would multiply by negative 2 again and end up with a positive 64. So to find the fifth term, I multiplied by negative 2 four times, or one less time. So we are going to put this negative 2 to the power of n minus 1. And there we go. That equation would allow anybody to find whatever number in this sequence they want. Okay, there we go. We found the nth term. I hope that helped. If you need some more videos like this, I've got a whole playlist I will link for you. Thanks.